unleveraged central bank and sovereign T plus two spot gold delivery demand, sucking up this alchemized gold sold into the this. Andrew, thanks a lot for looking at the big picture there, medium and long term. But you know what? This week we have had a ton of questions on what is Andrew McGuire seeing in the short term here. Yeah, and and of course now we're recording this just before M uh, FOMC. It's in a few hours from now, so you know well, we don't need to. We don't need to know. What we need to look at is what are their options. Um, so in the in the bigger ch picture. Uh, if we looked, if we look at how the lack of Fed trust keys into the fresh race into into safe haven gold, it reveal it reveals an increasingly offside, wrong-footed Fed-driven psyops operation, which, if you remember, had raced into sell borrowed physical gold from the BIS in an attempt to avert central bank and sovereign physical buyers once again raising these aggregated bids above freshly established stair step central bank physical support levels which was at 1820 and they're trying to avoid them being settled in the low 1900s and as we just outlined given the sun the the, the current central bank support stair step at, at 1820 had in less than three months risen 200 dollars higher from the 1618 lows uh, that we saw in november the Fed was trying to block this fresh stair step at 2000. This is what was happening this week, which will force actually a very strong series of fresh supports to be established. So that's what they were trying to do. But again, as we discussed in our last episode, and I just have to sum it up here again, because it is the exact reason why the cartel will from here on be limited to the degree they can cap paper gold being alchemized into physical outside the LBMA CME ring fence. Namely, when competing central banks and sovereign physical demand sees this bullion exit the containment ring fence, it eliminates the cartel's ability to finance it, reborrow it, and then lease it back out into the, lease out this, this bullion, which they've been doing for, 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 for the last 50 years, obviously always financed by officials who have who can print as much money fiat supply as they want to, to to finance these positions but if the bullion's gone they can't do it so this for decades has served to obscure the real true supply demand data now the effect of ultimately de-dollarizing two-thirds of the globe's commodity trade will weigh heavily on this primary cartel tool now, official put, put pushbacks, as we have just witnessed, simply forces the paper price to dip below global central bank uh, central bank physical demand levels. And while the COMEX gold is leveraged, the physical buyers circle in to convert this paper price to physical offtake, and that is has a has a huge inverse inverse leverage. There is not what the, the cartel wants to see, but it's happening. Very short term, we're trading lower than the fresh 2023 Monday highs, which were made at around $2,014 uh, on Monday. And even though we've evidenced this fickle paper market longs being rinsed out since then, I say good riddance to them. It is the competing central bank sovereign physical demand that will once again change the sell the rally paper market chart painted by the Fed through February into a buy the dip market as the higher physical supported stair steps we were discussing last time begin to get underpinned by the physical market at a higher level. And if you recall, footprints were already evidencing the accumulation of very large unleveraged central bank and sovereign T plus two spot gold delivery demand, sucking up this alchemized gold sold into the, this ill thought through US centric psyops operation that commenced at the beginning of February. Now, while some of this fickle, rinsable paper market interest also participated into the gold price ramp into the 2000 level, at the margin, it is this NSFR compliant T plus two spot gold delivery demand exiting this. LBMA CME ring fence that has ultimately been forcing discipline on the cartel banks to hedge this physical exposure, triggering a sequence of layers of paper market shortstops to be rinsed, but ultimately limiting downside traction.
because of that. Now, by Friday, and further cemented this week, the central bank's sovereign higher stair step supports we were drawing attention to in our last episode also looks to be resetting from the 1820 spot level to what looks like just above 1900 right now. But this is a rapidly evolving uh, situation as gold supply tightens enormously here. The longer gold holds above this freshly aggregated central bank bid level, and we've seen several uh, PM fixes now above 1900, these higher stair steps will continue to populate limiting the scope of the cartel's paper market activity. This is full circle back to the evolving paper to physical battle lines we've been tracking for years here, where the paper to physical lines cross is the, is the important point, and we know it is the physical market that ultimately provides discipline to the casino pit managers. So bottom line, bottom line, the financial crisis is most certainly not over, despite this glossing over, evidencing a scramble by global officials to avert any one of the daisy chain of the two big to fail banks collapsing. And if any one of them goes, it would force having to mark to market close to a one quadrillion dollars of interconnected derivative bets to zero. To avoid a total banking collapse, massive QE, will have to be implemented, which will be another factor to drive gold, silver, and all commodities priced in dollars to all-time fresh highs. It's not that the commodities are priced, uh, have moved up in price, it's that the amount of dollars it takes to buy them will be more. It'll require more. So while the paper market focus is on FOMC later today, and that is very short term, the Fed, faced with a potential 2008 or 2020 like bank run caused by the Fed driving rates too high too fast, will have its hands tied. If they increase rates too much, it's just going to create this uh, another, another, uh, another fallout. So, but to save face from flip-flopping again by pausing immediately, which would also actually send a message, uh, they know something uh, the market doesn't know yet about a worsening in bank contagion. So the Fed is kind of trapped between hiking 25 basis points, pausing or just commencing full bore QE. Well, guys, you will know by the time you get this uh, episode. But this is this is basically what we're looking at. But look, let's just say this is what Goldman said. And this is what I did, it caught my attention yesterday. It, they said, Fed either pivots too early and turns dovish into a high inflation scenario, which fairly bearish for the US dollar, thus helping gold, or they pivot too late and cause a much bigger recession than is priced right now, resulting in a flight to safety helping gold. A Goldman's take. Um, and you know damn well they're long for their own book. Uh, there's only one safe haven asset, though, guys, you can protect ourselves with, any of ourselves with, and that is, the question is, <laughs> how much physical gold and silver do you own right now?